In a previous video, we saw how to create and send a quote to a customer. In this video, we'll learn how quotes are approved, either by the customer or by you in BrightPearl. To use the approvals process, you'll first need to create an approved order status. This is done in Setup, Sales, Sales Statuses. I'm going to add a new status named Approved. I'd like my customer to be able to approve this through the web portal, so I need them to be able to see any orders on this status. Select a colour, first from the wheel and then select a shade from the inner square and add the new status. Approval comes after the quote has been sent, so I can drag that into position. So now I've created the status, I need to set that as my approved status in BrightPearl. In Sales, Sales Workflow, scroll down and select the approved status. Having done that gives our customers the opportunity to approve quotes through the web portal and for you to approve quotes within BrightPearl. Make sure you save any changes. So next I need to give my customer access to the web portal. This is done by giving them a password. Look up the customer open their record and in the info tab you'll find the password link. Use this link and that will email it directly to your customer. Alternatively you can set your own password with the fields here. Now this customer will be able to log into the web portal. I'm now going to log into the web portal as the customer to approve the quote. So the customer logs in with their email and password. And here they can see details of their account. The quote will be found under orders. Here it is. To approve it, they need to view the details, scroll down, make a comment, and then they can say add comments and approve. The quote's now been approved by the customer. Back in Bright Pearl, I'm going to look up the quote. We can see here it's now at the approved status. The other option would be to mark the quote as approved from within BrightPearl. To do this, you would open the quote from the drop down menu on the Save Changes button. You can then select Approve. And that will only be there if you have set your approved status in your sales workflow.